this light right now, I feel like I need sunglasses. <laughs> Alright, so today we have a first impression review video on the Tarte Hybrid Gel, what is this even actually called? Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. So this has one fluid ounce and it retails for $39. You can get it at Sephora, Ulta, pretty much anywhere that carries Tarte. The packaging and the actual quality of it feels really nice. Like this feels like it's a high-end foundation. It has a super pretty frosted glass bottom. Not the best for traveling with since this is glass. Let's go on the website and read some claims. So looking on Ulta's website, there are 10 shades, not a whole lot. I've tried Tarte foundations in the past and they don't typically have the best shade range. It's kind of interesting because they also claim in here. Yeah, it's available in a range of shades to match any skin tone. 10 shades does not match any skin tone. Sorry. It looks like they have a few dark shades and then mostly like middle shades. This is the shade Fairlight Neutral. You'll see when I apply it what I think of the shade and how it looks and everything. Thank you, Lawnmower. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. This is the only time that I can film today, so we're going for it. Oh great, he's like literally moving outside my window. So it says that it's a full coverage foundation, oil-free, smoothing, plumping, pore refining, mask, redness, dark spots, acne, uneven skin tone for 12 hour wear. It's supposed to help smooth the surface of your skin while promoting water retention. It says it's supposed to wear fine across all skin types. I'm guessing if you have dry skin, this will be great for you since it is a gel formula and it's supposed to be super moisturizing. I have combination skin, so I do get oily throughout my T-zone. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's supposed to be a moisturizing, full coverage foundation. So if you want to see my thoughts on this foundation and how it wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. That was quite the setup. Literally just moved that shit around 20,000 times. Um, this headband is like cutting off my circulation. I am so excited to try this out right now. This is probably one of the prettier packaging I've ever seen. When you take it out of the box, it comes in this gorgeous like frosted glass gold topped container and then it has this chevron along the side. I just think this is so pretty. Even if I don't like this foundation, I'm just gonna like frame this. So I have the shade Fair Light Neutral and this was the lightest shade. I'm hoping that this is light enough. I haven't even looked at this yet. Ooh, it looks pretty dark. Wonderful. Story of my life. So by the way that this looks, we are definitely gonna have to use a foundation mixer. This is pretty dang dark. So if you buy the brush that is supposed to go along with this foundation, it has like a spatula on one end and then an angled like foundation brush on the other. And they say to just use the spatula to like put it on your face and then blend it out with the brush in circular motions. So I'm just gonna use my finger to dab some of this on and then we'll blend it out. This is supposed to be full coverage. So I'm gonna start out with a little bit, I guess, and see how far this goes. And I think I'm going to add in some foundation mixer on top of this because we're looking pretty dark, folks. Pretty dark. Actually, I'm going to try one spot without foundation mixer just to see what the color looks like, but I can already tell it's going to be dark. So using my flat top kabuki, I'm going to go ahead and blend. And it says to use circular motions. I typically like to pat my foundation like this because I feel like it gives best coverage. But let's do what they say, you know? definitely dark. It's showing up a lot lighter on camera, I feel like, but in real life it's definitely too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and add a tiny bit more product um, and then add some foundation mixer over top. Today I'm using the Stargazer white liquid. I'm going to be having a mixer video coming soon about my favorite mixers, but I'm just using a tiny bit of this. I use this mixer with my Clinique uh, Beyond Perfecting foundation, and it doesn't seem to alter the formula a whole lot, so I feel like this shouldn't throw off the first impression that much. It is, like, if the, if you blend in circular motions like they say, it is kind of difficult, I feel like, to do that. Maybe I didn't put enough on, but so far it's looking like medium coverage. I'm going to go ahead and add a bit more product and then also some mixer over top. It feels really nice on the skin right now, like, it feels kind of... Uh, a little bit cooling. So far, even with two layers on this half of my face, it isn't looking like totally full coverage on me. You can still see freckles showing through, you can still see some of my acne, but the finish looks nice and it's sitting really nice on the skin. Like even in the viewfinder, my face is looking very fresh. Even with like pretty much almost three layers on, it doesn't look cakey or anything. It layered really nicely. It looks very dewy and almost like you have like a moisturizer on and it feels pretty moisturizing on the face. Definitely not set yet. I feel like the mixer might have sheared it out a little bit. Kind of bummed about the shades. This is definitely not 
a fair shade at all. Like, I don't even know why they're calling this fair. To me, this looks like an NC25, maybe an NC30. It, even with the mixer, it still looks pretty dark. Like, definitely looks darker than my chest, just so you guys can see. So I will need to lighten my face with some concealer and powder. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, and then we'll be right back. Alright, so the rest of my makeup is on. Didn't do anything exciting because I'm just going to be working and running errands today. On the lips I'm wearing, ColourPop She Bad, no, BFF2 liner, and then Choker over top. I've been wearing Choker every single day. I freaking love this color. And to set my face, since the foundation never, it still doesn't feel fully set, like it's still kind of sticky to the touch and some product is coming off of my fingers. I set the foundation with the powder and I used the Maybelline Fit Me powder because this is a little bit more pink toned and lighter and I feel like it definitely helped to lighten up my whole face like it doesn't look way too dark now it's doable. One thing I wanted to mention is that I got super patchy bronzer when I was trying to blend out my bronzer it like wouldn't blend out. I'm not sure if that just was a spot where it didn't fully set so it was kind of catching on the liquid or what, but like this side was super hard to blend out with bronzer. This one was a little bit tricky too, and I feel like it does look kind of patchy. Definitely looks like I'm wearing makeup right now. I don't think it looks fantastic on my face, but I don't think it looks bad at all. So we're just gonna wait and see how it wears throughout the day. It is pretty late in the day already. It's 12, 14 p.m. because I was working this morning. It says it is supposed to last for 12 hours, so we shall see. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like in natural lighting so you can see the color and the finish and everything. Alright, so it is now 2.49, so it's almost 3 o'clock, almost been on for 3 hours, and I feel like the foundation looks so much better as the day has gone on so far. It just looks less foundation-y, like I feel like I look a little bit more dewy, maybe that's why I like it, but it's not oily -y. When I touch my face, it does feel a little bit sticky, like we're getting some oil coming through. Hoping that's just the foundation and I don't get oilier, but I do like how it looks right now. Even with the lightener, I do feel like the shade is a little bit too dark. You can see a difference like in my hairline, and I don't really like that. I feel like it makes it look kind of mask-like, but it definitely looks better than it did when I first applied it. And I'm not getting any mouth lines, which is really nice. I usually get those. Also around the nose area, it's looking pretty good. I do have like a physical therapy appointment in a few hours for my neck, and they usually work on me face down. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how the foundation wears throughout that process. Usually I look like a hot mess when I come out of that appointment, so we'll see. That's at 7 p.m., so four hours from now. All right, so the night had a little bit of an unexpected twist. It is now 8 p.m., and I actually just started feeling better. I had a really bad migraine. So this whole side of my face was actually on a hot pack, which is why my like <laughs> looks such a hot mess right now. We're persevering and finishing out this first impression. So the foundation is pretty much all worn off on this side of my face, but this side of my face, which didn't touch the pillow at all or anything, um, looks pretty good. It definitely is a bit oily and I can feel it, like oil is coming off of my finger when I press down. I feel like sometimes a hot pack can make me oilier too, just like by being super hot. So it could be that, but this first impression is literally all over the place. <laughs> this is my, this is my life. I've had a rough past few weeks and thank you guys for all the, um, Snapchat messages. I never really post anything about having chronic migraine just because I don't really feel the need to um, and it would literally be almost every single day but sometimes it feels good to know that there are other people out there who are going through the same thing and I'm gonna start crying again. So thank you guys for those of you who snapped me and tweeted me. Uh, it really means a lot to me. During my live stream I got a few of you guys saying that you want to see a video on migraines and living with chronic pain and all that good stuff. Um, I feel like, I, I feel like in order for me to make that video, I need to have some kind of, like, way to help you guys, and I guess it does help by just knowing that other people also have this problem, but at the same time, like, I've been living with these for 12 years, and I don't have any solutions. Like, I haven't found anything that works for me yet, so I don't know. I don't want it to come across as, like, a complaining video, because... That's not what it would be. Um, so if you guys are out there who are going through the same thing, 
let me know if a video talking about it would be helpful. I'm usually pretty used to it and just kind of accept that this is life, but I don't know why today it like hit me extra hard. I think it's just I have so much to do right now and my health just gets in the way of my life like every single day. Anyways, back to the makeup. <laughs> So I'm probably going to try and keep this on for a couple more hours so we can see how it looks, but uh, it's kind of already like a hot mess just because how the night went. So we are going to stop talking about this and I'm going to check back in a couple hours, hopefully. Alright, it is 9 o'clock so it's only been an hour since my last check-in, but I think I just need to shower and like relax and take off my makeup. Um, and it's probably not going to be changing a whole lot. Overall thoughts, I think I need to try this out more. I do like the way that this side is sitting on my skin, especially at the end of the night. Like, it still looks really nice. So I am going to try mixing it in with other products, like I said. If you don't have pale skin, then you could just wear this on its own. From what I tried, the coverage is not as intense as, like, the Clinique uh, foundation that I just did a review on, which I'll link down below, or the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, those have way better coverage. I'll call this a medium buildable. Besides all the oil that I have going on my forehead, I feel like it makes your face look really nice and moisturized and like plump. I hope this was somewhat helpful for you guys, even though we had a little disruption in the middle of this first impression. Let me know what foundations you guys want to see next down below. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.